Good afternoon, Ultimate fans. Welcome back to the Canadian Ultimate Championships 2016, live from Edmonton, Alberta. This is the Ivor Dent Sports Park, truly world-class facility, 18 pristine fields on soccer fields, uh, an awesome sports park. We're excited to be here, and we're bringing you this round three matchup. Uh, two undefeated teams here, Toro and Bonfire in the junior women's division. Uh, Bonfire in white on the left-hand side of your screen, and on the right-hand side of your screen is Toro from Toronto, the number one team. Uh, both teams undefeated, as we talked about. Um, Bonfire just having a doozy of a match against Wicked from Ontario, 2-0. Uh, and uh, without further ado, let's just get into the action. Toro pulls the, pull, pulls the disc out of bounds. Disc tapped in the middle of the field. Keffer with the disc on the sideline. Around to Delaney Ignatiev. Airs it out right away. Nice defense there by number 42, Jolin Zhang. Toro, the number one team out of Ontario. Bonfire, the number three team out of British Columbia. Toro in black. Bonfire in white. And the disc slowly moving up the far sideline. Toro, pass by pass. Hits number 18, Reed Chan. Chan with the disc. Surveying, swings it to the middle. Oh, and just off the hands of number two, Sherry Liu. Kayla Keffer picks the disc up. Here's one out right away. Good defense there. And that's another block. 42, Jolene Zhang with two blocks already and it's only the first point. Oh, great defensive pressure there by Bonfire. Getting the turn with the short field. Looking up field. Can't quite hit it. Bends it in and a great D block there by Toro. Right off the bat in this game, we see great defensive pressure by both teams, and that could be the story of the game. Middle of the field for Toro now. They have the full 70 to go. Big fakes from the center handler. Swings it. Cut up field. Nice faking. Finds the open receiver, Zhang. Zhang with the disc. Swings it back. That's 16, Jada Lun. Loon with the disc. Loon again. Looks like she's going to be trying to go every other here. Finding some space. Loon. Around. Zhang can't quite keep her hands on the disc. Bonfire zone develops a turn with a short field to go. Kayla Keffer walks up to it. Puts the disc in play. Bonfire will score up window point here. Bends one out. Oh, and a big grab by Bonfire in the end zone. And they take a 1-0 lead. And other events and happening in the CUC, we had... Uh, in the men's division, a big upset right off the bat as uh, we speak about Bonfire. Their men's team just upset Alpha, the number one team out of BC. That's the three seed upsetting the one seed out of British Columbia. Um, and that's going to pay off pretty big for Bonfire as they advance through further into the tournament. Their women's team undefeated as well. Good day for the, for the folks from North Vancouver, that's for sure. Bonfire here in white, set to pull to Toro in dark. Uh, the Bonfire open team just kind of walking across the field, helping here to support their uh, compadres here, the women. And here's the pull. Toro set to receive. 
Toro has to be one of the favorites for this year's tournament. Uh, last year, they had a little bit of a down year, finishing outside the top bracket. But any case, rehashed, retooled, and they're back at it this year, and they're undefeated, and they're looking very strong. Toro with the disc, facing a tough bonfire zone. And that's number seven, Brittany Santo. She's going to be a major center handler piece for this Toro offense. And that's ruled out of bounds. Great effort to toe the line. Picked up right away by Bonfire. Shot up the middle, connected. In the middle of the field. Looking up field. Goes up line, that's number four, Alicia Broly with the disc. Broly with the disc, goes up line right away. They're really using that open side up line. And they go there again, connected again. Chantal Broly, sister connection. Goes up line. Great defensive pressure. Toro comes back after a little bit of a lackluster offensive possession there, but gets it back right on D. Number seven, Brittany Santos here will walk it to the line. She's been solid for Toro all tournament. She's facing a tough bonfire zone in the wind here. Santos serving. Nice little break shot through the middle. Well taken there by the receiver. Number eight, Rebecca May. Mayburis. Far sideline. Santos. Santos to the sideline. Connects with Sang. Sang upfield. Ulelan. Ulelan back to Santos. Santos to the middle. To Beerus. Good use of the width of the field. Santos gets it right back up line. Really well done. Bends a flick in there. Connects for the goal. Number 27, Jasmine Uleyland connects. She's got her first goal of the game. And Toro is on the board. And this is a 1-1 game. Toro in the Open Division has won back-to-back -back CECs. And they're looking to do it again this year. Their women, after a bit of a down year the last year, come back strong this year. Coach Holloran instructions at them. That's Emma Seaborn, also coached by Carla DeFilippo on the bonfire side. Carla and, uh, Carla and Michael Keffer coach the uh, women's junior women's team here. Um, and they've had a nice game. They, they absolutely took care of business this morning, first thing, against uh, Red River Rebellion. And then they took down Wicked from, on, from Ottawa in the second round matchup. Toro also undefeated today. It's nice to cap things off here from our live stream with two undefeated teams going at it. Um, big time matchup here. We'll be broadcasting live uh, three or four games every single day from now all the way until Sunday. This is the Canadian Ultimate Championships live from the Ivor Dent Sports Park in Edmonton, Alberta. A uh, truly wonderful facility we're at here. Amazing that we can be out here broadcasting, giving you coverage from UltimateCanada.tv, partnered with SportsCanada.tv. Uh, this is our production of the Canadian Ultimate Championships, and Bonfire's got the disc. Delaney Ignatiev and Kayla Keffer are going to be doing some serious handling work for Bonfire. Bench around, and there's a block. Number 24, Christina Wang for Toro generates a turn. Wentland to pick up. Wentland looks upfield. Can't get it. Swings it to the middle. Santos playing double shifting here. Moves to the middle. That's Beerus. Beerus also double shifting. Stacking his line, hoping to get this break. Far sideline now. Just going to spin, deliver back to Santos. Santos swings it out wide. Beerus. Beers with the disc. Oh, nice cut inside by Wang. Spins it. Delivers just a bit high, but nice grab there by Jesse Sang. Sang on the doorstep. Spins to Santos. This is a danger spot for Santos. Finds Wang for the goal, and she got a double happiness there with the block and the goal, and Santos commanding the field in the backfield there. She's going to go every other. She's going to be a player to watch absolutely in this game. You can already see the players that are separating themselves and showing that they really can take control of games.
Toro breaks back and they take the lead 2-1 after some sort of, uh, you know, lackluster play to start the game off. Santos really put the team on it back for the last two points and established a nice dominance. It's 2-1 now for Toro, the number one seed out of Ontario. Uh, they're a strong, strong program, have been built over the last several years, this Toronto Elites program. And uh, Toro looking to be a dangerous team in this year's tournament. Bonfire on the other side, no slouch, also undefeated this year. This is the number one two matchup in this seat in this pool. And uh, let's see how it shakes down. Toro leads two to one right now. Lots of activity on the sideline as the Bonfire Open team continues to roll in to support their uh, girls that are battling Toronto right now. Ignatieff will pick the disc up. Look up field. Doesn't like what she looks. There she goes, flips it to Keffer. Keffer bends around a nice forehand. She just can't track it down on the far line, far sideline. It's a little bit gusty. Uh, as you can see from the flags, they're not moving too much, but every now and then just a little gust picks up, and it's sometimes enough to just shake the disc out of out of the possession of one of the players. Oh, an unbelievable hand block by Bonfire on the far sideline. Really nicely done. Disc tapped in by Ignatiev. Now she have calling a double team. Doesn't stop the play. Fires a shot across the middle. Sutton Jones with the disc. Spins one out wide. Kayla Erickson. Carly Erickson. Back to Keffer. Back to Sutton Jones. Back to Nashiev. Using the width of the field nicely. Right through the middle. That's Keffer. Nice pop. There it is. They're going to go outside. All the way outside here to Erickson. Erickson airs one out. All the way, and that is going to work. Track down and a great goal by Bonfire. Good movement going back and forth across the width of the field. Open up the deep strike, and this is 2-2. This game's all tied up. I think Toro came in a little bit uh, thinking that Bonfire was going to roll over, but it is 2-2, and I'm, I'm sure they're going to be uh, hoping to get a bigger lead here. Bonfire really using the width of the field nice, going back and forth, making use of their handlers side to side, and then hit the strike deep. Really nicely done by Bonfire. They send out a defensive unit. Bon, uh, Toro's offensive unit walks out. Santos, Beerus, Wentland. Same crew that just took down that last point. Wanders right back out onto the offensive point. 2-2 Two is the score. Bonfire and Toro. Bonfire in white on the left-hand side of your screen. And on the right is Toro. Emma Seaborn providing some instruction here for her Toro players. And now that's twice that we've seen Bonfire's uh, goals coming off of Hux. That's something to watch out for for sure. They've got tall, athletic receivers and good throwers in the handling core, and they've been able to connect on a couple of Hux. Pulled by Bonfire. Just lands inbound. Whalen picks it up. To Santos in the middle. Santos. Looking for upfield movement. Slices it through. That's a nice shot. Hits Kelly Smith. Smith back to Santos. Santos bends one around to Beerus. Beerus looking upfield. Goes back to Smith. Smith all the way around to Wentland. Wentland. Z. Z through to Santos. Santos to Smith. Good handler movement here by Toro, but good containment by Bonfire as well. Wentland with the disc now. Wants to hit Santos, and just a bit low, and there's that Bonfire pressure with that zone. Bonfire collects now. Only has about 40 yards to go. Nice shot up there. Broly with the disc. Broly. Looking up field, swings it around, just can't quite contain a good effort on the swing. And that's Safina Sajani, who had the big mark there, moves it to the close side, Smith tracking it down, nice grab. Inside there, Santos with the disc, Santos looking up field. Wants some upfield movement, finds it and hits it for Beerus. Beerus to Wentland. It's going to be a jailbreak here. Back to Beerus. 
Tapias attacking that far sideline. Wentland available behind her. Ops for Santos instead. Nice crab. Over around to Smith. Smith with the disc. Smith looks upfield. Hits Santos. Santos bends one around. Good defensive pressure, but Beerus tracks it down. And that's going to be a connection to watch out for as Brittany Santos hits Julia Beerus in the end zone. And they're going to go every other this game for sure, as they've already shown to be a strong and capable O-line. Toro leads 3-2. Just offensive trading here so far today. Uh, this is the third round matchup. Both teams here come into this game undefeated. Um, you know, both are strong programs. Bonfire, third, fourth year of existence here. Uh, team out of North Vancouver, but also taking its players from the Vancouver region. And uh, Toronto Elites, this is their number one program in Toro. Also have a B squad uproar. Um, this Toro program, after rebranding a few years ago, has made some serious strides, especially in the Junior Open Division, where they've won back-to-back -back CUC titles. They're going to look to defend this year and make it the three-peat, but definitely some stiff competition from the rest of the field. Really good pro, uh, teams out of Alpha BC, uh, Bonfire out of North Vancouver in the Open Division, as well as MoFo, which we got to watch a little bit earlier. And MoFo showed that they are no slouches at all, having three Team Canada players carry them to an uh, pretty well executed clinical 15-10 win over Misfit which we were able to witness uh, live on our UltimateCanada.tv broadcast just over an hour ago. Toro to pull, fires it up wind a little bit, Let's see if this bonfire O-line can keep their magic alive. Keffer has the disc in the middle. Keffer to Ignatiev. Ignatiev wants to go back to Keffer, finds her in the middle. Nice little one-two punch those two are in the middle. Oh and they swing it out wide and just can't quite, quite complete it. Toro has a short field here to work with. Let's see what they can do. Tina Wu here, number 25. Wu on the sideline. Taps it in. Looking to the middle. Connects there with 77, Catherine Quatch. Ignatia with the disc. Airs her out as they've been doing all game long. Oh, can't quite connect there. That's number eight, Ole Oleana Chan, trying to track that one down. Another opportunity here for the D-line, for Toro to work it in. Airs went out just a little bit too far. Bonfires Keffer resets. Fires right inside to Ignatiev right away. A little bit of wind picking up here on, on the showcase field. Let's see if that affects how these players play. Definitely not going to affect uh, Kayla Keffer and Delaney Ignatiev a little bit as they throw back and forth a lot getting nice yards through the zone. Just tries over the top there, not connected with. Toro has another opportunity to break here. Toro can march it up to where that disc went out of bounds on the thrower's mark. Disc will be tapped in. This is Lund. Lund with the disc. Once inside. Sort of a poachy person on person. Dion and Amazing block there by Bonfire. She tracked her player down, went up line. And then Ignatiev hits it, and there's a double happiness. Great play there. Bonfire not going anywhere. This game's all tied up at threes. Both teams have just held going down win on offense every time. Uh, this has been a pretty exciting start to this team, uh, game here, round three matchup. Uh, you know, every every point has been cashed in on. Uh, not a lot of mistakes, despite the win they've been fighting through. Pool D matchup here. Toro Bonfire. Bonfire in white. Toro in blue. Blacky blue. <laughs> 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 
Score is 3 3. Six points into this round three matchup. Big matchup to see who comes first out of Pool D here at the Canadian Ultimate Championships in the Junior Women's Division. Live from Edmonton, Alberta, we're at the Ivor Dent Sports Park. A uh, really world-class facility. Uh, if you've been watching the stream, I'm sure you've seen the beautiful fields here. If you've had a chance to kick around or see pictures from the event, uh, you know, 18, really nice pitch, chalked out. Just a beautiful place. Low winds today, just a little gusty here and there. But uh, this brand new facility opened last year, and it's just it's playing host to a really great event so far. Junior women's division matchup here: three, three, Bonfire and Toro. Flips to the middle. That's Dos Santos in the middle. Brittany Dos Santos has already shown that she's going to be the center handler here for Toro. Dos Santos gets it back in the middle. Looking up field. She's got Beerus on her right. Wetland on her left. Ops for Wetland. And immediately attacks the line. Dos Santos gets it back. Airs it out. This one's going to hang a little bit. A couple players in on it. Nice read. And there's the goal. Number 15, Rebecca G. Brings that one in. Dos Santos with the quick give go up line. Opened up a little bit of space for herself. And then, f and then lobbed a nice airy shot. Gave G chance to read it. Attack it. Make a play on it. And cash in for the goal. 4-3. Toro leads. So we see Toro take the lead here. Uh, continues the hold train that uh, both teams have been on. We've got uh, Bonfire in white, Toro in dark. And, uh, you know, one thing I've noticed is that uh, Toro's offensive possessions have been pretty crisp. Sort of give goes, lots of quick movement, and then finding the end zone. Uh, Bonfires have had a little bit more, um, you know, a little more trouble, a couple turns here and there, but nonetheless, they're finding a way to get it done. UltimateCanada.tv. Uh, we're going to be here all week long giving you uh, packed coverage every day, three or four games, this juniors division, and then the adult division, Thursday, Friday, through the weekend. Uh, tons of great matchups lined up this week. Really amazing stuff on display here. Um, in the booth, I'm Kevin Underhill, giving you play-by-play -play commentary of the CEC junior division here uh, this week from the Ivor Dent Sports Park. I'm on Twitter, uh, Twitter with... Uh, Kev Underhill 89, you can look me up, fire me some feedback if you want me to uh, spice it up a little bit or tame it down, let me know. Uh, or if you just generally want me to send me some positive vibes. Uh, right now we have this awesome matchup between Bonfire and Toro. And we've got Bonfire working it up the field pretty nicely here. That's number 18, Claire Kissinger. Kissinger moves it up. Erickson. Erickson looks to the middle. Keffer covered tightly back to Kissinger. Kissinger, surveying, good downfield coverage by Toro, aggressive mark here by number 16, Jada Lund, Erickson gets it back, pardon me, that's Hammer, Holly Hammer with the disc, oh, spins it to the middle, great play, nice break for a shot, and they're off to the races, Ignatiev sends one up, oh, and a great defensive pressure. Toro with good block there, and it looks like they've stacked this line. They've got Jada Lund on. They also have Brittany Dos Santos. Uh, Beerus is on there. Looks like every few points, Toro stacks going for that, that coveted break. Dos Santos slices one through. Big fakes. Looks to the middle, goes back to Dos Santos. Dos Santos in the middle. She's got nice command of her throws, and she goes over the top of the hammer. Really nicely placed, right under Rebecca G's hands. We'll see if they can jailbreak through the zone. A little give go with Dos Santos. Sure enough, gets it back. Dos Santos surveying. Hits Beerus on the far sideline. Beerus goes up line and connects for the goal. That's number 18, Reeve Chan. And that's a clinical offensive possession by Toro after generating the turn right in their own end zone. They had it. Bonfire had it on the goal line. Took a shot to the goal. Maybe a little bit risky, but it was just a, a nice defensive pressure. And then they went shot for shot all the way down. Dos Santos going every other. Looking to cash in. And sure enough, their stacked power line generated the break. The much needed first half break. And Toro takes a 5-3 lead over Bonfire.
talking about the coverage here live from Edmonton, Alberta at the CUC 2016. We're going to have tomorrow, we're going to have quarterfinals in the afternoon. Uh, so make sure to stay tuned for that. We have pool play in the morning, some crucial pool play matchups that may decide quarters. And uh, we'll have quarters, we'll have some semis on Wednesday, and definitely both junior women's and junior opens on Friday. You are not going to want to miss it. Last year's junior open final, potentially one of the most exciting games I've ever been a part of, ever witnessed in my entire life. A shot for shot, just total slugfest, two streaks, a huge comeback from Toro as they trucked back on Alpha, forced a huge Universe Point finale. Uh, the crowd was packed. They had rolled in for the uh, for the Adult Tournament, and the huge crowd for the Junior Open Final. What an amazing game. Toro storms back and wins on Universe Point. Uh, huge, like, amazing play, great bid, and uh, hopefully I'm expecting the same sort of uh, effort for sure as the junior final has always shown to be one of the most exciting finals. All the way up to Sutton Jones. She's got the disc on the far sideline. Bonfire, some great movement here. Reinvigorated after following the last point. This is Safina Shijani. Swings it around. To the middle, Erickson. Bends one out. Nice play. Right on the doorstep. Kissinger at the desk. Safina Sajani. Little small ball here in the corner. Cuts to the line. Connects for the goal. Bonfire cashes in in the upwind end zone. They're not going away without a fight. 5-4 Toro leads. Bonfire seated below Toro at this tournament, but showing that they definitely belong in this game as they've just continued to stick around and fire goals in. Right there, that's uh, Safina Shizani going back-to-back. -back. Couple uh, give-goes. Working there with Larissa Curry. Corey and Shizani working it. There's Oleana Chan as well out there. Just making it happen. Sutton Jones. Little discussion of who's going to play on the next point. I'm sure they all want to be out there. Coach Carla Keffer, daughter Kayla Keffer is on the team. Isis Sutton Jones set to pull. Gonna trade it off. Colin Medill, Alan Bagish, our observers for today's game. Uh, they're wearing green to make sure that they normally wear orange, but Bonfire has so much orange on part of their jersey that they've decided to wear green for today's game. Observers at this tournament are non-active. They're making calls on in and out of bounds, and uh, they're also doing timing between pulls, but they're not active in any other foul calls or anything like that. Uh, they're just there to help out if there's a discussion at, after a play. Dos Santos picks up a short pull from Bonfire. Goes straight away to Shang. That's Wang, rather. Oh, just a quick point. Toro clinical. Jesse Sang cashing in for the goal. And that just goes to show what we were talking about before up here in the booth was, I mean, Bonfire's getting their O points in but they're, they're having to battle for them, whereas Toro has fired away a few uh, just really easy, crisp O points. And, uh, you know, as, as the game wears on and as players on the teams are getting a little bit more fatigued, those crisp O points are going to pay off for Toro down the line. And we talked a little bit last game about how important the pull is, and there's another example of uh, the pull from Bonfire a little short, just past their own brick, uh, maybe just a slip disc, but it wasn't anything. The wind was in their favor. But you saw that uh, Toro had a, you know, a short field, and they made the most of it and cashed in. You can see Coach Emma Seaborn there on her knees, giving some feedback, uh, helping her team out here.
We're back here with third round coverage. Kefir with the disc in the middle of the field. Swinging it with Erickson. That's Kissinger. Kissinger to Hammer. Oh, what a miscue there in the backfield. And Toro has another short field to work with. And Beerus is stepping over the disc. She's going to walk through it. She's going to collect it. Dos Santos is free on the far side. Goes straight to Dos Santos. Beerus goes up line. Dos Santos covered well by Hammer. Nice marking there. Keffer on it. Holly Hammer covering Dos Santos. That's a good matchup in the backfield. Keffer on the D. Aggressive marking. Cuts up line. Dos Santos shakes her mark and makes the play up line. Great effort there by all players. And just Dos Santos accelerating through that, making the grab and catching it in the downward end zone. And Toro makes good on their back-to-back -back points. They now lead 7-4. Bonfire has been threatening. They've had their chances every point, but they just haven't quite been able to connect on all of their shots. And one thing that we have seen here from the Toro team is that they do have in Dos Santos a truly a superstar at this junior women's level. As she's able to just command the disc at will. Uh, she's got great throws, good speed, got good height, and she's definitely, definitely tough to guard. And they've you've seen that uh, Bonfire has put a few different players on her, trying to cover her. But uh, she's truly a solid player, and she's making a difference. Bonfire set to receive. Toro to pull. 7-4. Toro leads. This point is to take half. Bonfire is going to want to stop that. Looks like that's an offside call. And that'll be the first warning. Uh, I think that was on... It's actually tough to tell who that was on. If it was on Toro, that's their first warning. Next time they have that offside pull, then Bonfire will get the disc at half field. But right now it's just a warning, and they're set to pull again. Everyone's onside here. And it pulls up. Keffer catches the pull, makes a nice play on it. Swings it to the middle of Sutton Jones. Sutton Jones out to Hammer. Hammer looking upfield. Flips it to the middle to Keffer. Keffer all the way around to the outside. That's Kissinger. Kissinger with the disc. Nice break for a shot through, but just overshot her receiver in line with the disc. Quick change of possession here. Let's see what transition offense is all about here for Toro. Nice shot upfield. Number 16, Jay to run. And that's Reeve Chan with the disc now. To the middle, Michelle Liu. Lou's got it. There's nice defense by Bonfire. Sutton Jones. Little, little discussion there. Sutton Jones resets the disc. And just under throws her receiver, Holly Hammer, on the cut. Now Sherry Lou to pick up. Little sloppy play here. Lou, not much available, goes to the backfield to Lund. Lund with the disc. Looks to hit her swing. Tightly covered by Kissinger. Swings it around. Good effort by D, but Lou tracks it down. Makes a nice read. Back to the middle. A little discussion there, but it's completed. Tina Wu with the disc in the middle. Oh, and a nice run through block by Kayla Keffer. Well taken. She looks up field. Hits an under and... There it is, tip for Tad as Lou comes right back after throwing it into a block, gets it right back. Two very solid defensive plays by two solid players. Lund picks up. Lund goes up line, hanging a little bit, out of bounds. Lou hung up there, made a nice grab, but just couldn't quite toe the line. Kissinger to pick up. Bonfire moving the disc upfield. In the middle. Hits Hammer. Nice cutting there. Outside. 
Erickson. Erickson to Keffer. Oh, and a nice, a really nice grab in tightly covered position there. Kayla with Keffer, tracks it down, extends her arm, makes the catch in coverage. Beautifully done, and Bonfire continues to stick around in this game. They now trail 7-5. Scoring this uh, Pool D matchup here, Toro versus Bonfire. Toro leads 7-5. to five. Uh, This is a point to take half. Looks like they're sending out their offensive stalwarts, Bures Dos Santos, Rebecca Mezburis, Kelly Smith. I think this is a critical point here. Uh, Bonfire, if they want to get that break back, uh, this would be a perfect time to do it. Going into the half trailing by three is just a little more intimidating than, than fighting back and making this point happen. If they can get this one, they can get some momentum, potentially tie it up going into the half. We talked about this a little bit earlier on in the broadcast, but uh, speaking of Bonfire, their junior open team just finished a tight match against Alpha, the number one seed in the tournament, and uh, Bonfire was able to uh, take it to them and complete the upset on Universe Point. Uh, that's going to do a major shake-up in the bracket. And here their women are trying to do the exact same thing and fire an upset right at Toro. Dos Santos with the disc from Beerus. Dos Santos sur surveying in the middle. That's Mez Beerus. Dos Santos scrambles up line, covered tightly, swings it to this side. All the way to this side, nice hand there, way to make sure by Jasmine Ulalen. Swings it back to the middle, Dos Santos. This Ignatiev Dos Santos coverage is going to be an exciting matchup to watch. Ignatiev buffering heavily up line. Big aggressive mark. Dos Santos steps out and delivers a dart around the around the corner. Mesbiris on the far side. Back to Dos Santos in the middle. Dos Santos quick swing over to Beerus. Beerus. Dos Santos. Dos Santos at will. Looks up field to Beerus. Tight coverage. Nice goal. And that's going to take us into the half. Toro. Again, Dos Santos going every other and eventually finding her receiver in the end zone. You know, there's an interesting discussion to be had about riding your top players. Dos Santos is going every other. She's getting tons of play time, but working very hard out there for sure. You know, for now, on the first day of competition, she's looking dominant, but I, I, the question begs to be asked is, can they ride her the entire way? Heaven forbid an injury or fatigue sets in. You know, the rest of the team is going to have to step up. But for now, Brittany Dos Santos has been commanding on the offense for Toro. This game heads into the half. 8-5 Toro leads at the CUC 2016 over Bonfire. Uh, we're going to take a quick break and bring you back for second half action after this.
All right, we're back here for second uh, half action. We have Toro in blue versus Bonfire in white. Toro is leading eight to five. It's been a phenomenal day for Ultimate here on Showcase Field number 14. Earlier today, we had uh, in the junior women's division, we had Era defeat Mischief. And in the junior open division, we had uh, Mofo defeat Misfit. Two really great games. Uh, lots of fight from both teams. This is the Canadian National Championships from uh, Edmonton, Alberta at the Ivor Dent Sports Park in Edmonton. Uh, really, really nice facility here for this tournament. Some of the best fields I've ever seen for Canadian Ultimate Championships. Uh, the kids are very lucky to be participating on this. And here they are putting their all on the line live on broadcast here at the Canadian Ultimate Championships. We have Bonfire set to pull to start the second half off, going downwind a little bit. Uh, the wind's been switching directions today, a little bit back and forth, but uh, mostly it's been pretty calm, and these players have had no problem dealing with it. Delaney Ignatieff with the pull. Nice long pull all the way past the brick. One with the close grab. Centers to the middle, Lou. Lou to Dos Santos. Dos Santos has been the centerpiece in this Toronto offense all game long. She's going to try to continue that in the second half. Swings it to the middle. Nice upfield shot to Beerus. Beerus looking upfield. A huge defensive play but connected. Lund got it off the second effort. Really great hustle D by Bonfire. Another effort. Unbelievable defensive pressure here by Bonfire but Dos Santos snags it, looks up field, doesn't like it, bends it over the top, can she get to her feet in time? Drop disc in the end zone. That's Jasmine Ulean who just couldn't quite hang on. Oleana Chan swings it out to the far sideline. Gets it right back over when she just peeked away and Burris was able to slap it down. Bonfire, a little bit of miscommunication there after getting the turn. Burris with the disc. Looks up field, Dos Santos, nice hands there in the corner, in a tough spot marked by Chan. Tough defense by Chan there. All over the mark. Swings it to the middle. Great defensive effort by Bonfire. Couldn't quite connect. And Bonfire cashes in. Baro and Toro scores the goal. 9-5. They lead. Bonfire had some really great defense there. Tons of great marking. Tons of great bids. And just couldn't quite make it count. As Toro ends up walking it in. Maybe getting a bit lucky there off the deflected disc. Fresh group of Bonfire players approach the line, getting ready to receive this pull. Something we've seen, generally speaking, up until about that last point, is the total O points have been pretty steady, uh, as, as opposed to the Bonfire ones who have been a bit sort of turn for turn and then end up mucking it in. But uh, here's, uh, here's Bonfire out. They've got a fresh set of offensive players here in the second half, and they're hoping to, uh, they're hoping to send this one up and get it in. Toro have got their defensive line out there, hoping to put a stop to it. Score reads 9-5, Toro's favor. Second half, this Pool D matchup, Canadian Ultimate Championships. Junior Women's Division has shown some serious growth over the last five years. Um, the split, I believe, happened in 2012, uh, 2012 in Victoria, when they, it was no longer mixed and it was instead open and women's. And since then, the junior women's team, uh, junior women's division, has shown some serious expansion, uh, expanding all the way to 14 teams this year, I believe, which is pretty amazing. In such a short time, that split, and the junior men's division has 19 this year. Pull out of bounds. Keffer walks it up to the middle, tapped in by one. Keffer. Lots of pressure. Swings it outside. Pierman swings it onto Keffer. Keffer upfield to Hall of Hammer. Can't quite drag it down. Good defensive pressure. The throw is just a bit behind. That's Wu. Lou with the, with the block. Lun picks it up. Quick up on cut. Just a bit out of reach. Just a bit too far there. Number 25. Tina Wu couldn't quite extend to make the grab. Keffer immediately picks up and swings it to Sutton Jones. Sutton Jones bends one around. Hammer this time stabs it with the one-hand grab. Looking across field. A lot going on. Upline cut. Well done by Piermain. Piermain just behind her receiver. And Toro gets possession again on this D-point. Again, we see 
Bonfire's O points are really sloppier. You know, a lot of times they've been able to work it in, but sometimes just too many turns to handle. And there's a miscommunication, and Lund boosts it deep to no one. Bonfire's going to have to go the full 70. Keffer urging her players to hustle back into position. She picks it up. Looks to the middle of Sutton Jones right away. Sutton Jones. Nice delivery of the shot all the way up the field. Bonfire now has it. Close sideline. Breaks the force to the middle. Hammer tightly covered in the upfield. Another nice cutting. Nice grab. Right away upfield. Connects. That's Megan Davies with the disc now. Davies just behind her receiver and she couldn't quite bring it in. That was Carly Erickson trying to reel that one in. Up line cut. This time connected. Tina Wu. Wu with the disc. Looks back to the middle. That's Lund. Lund steady handling presence on the defensive unit. Swings it to the far side. Liu has the disc. Back to Lund. Lund right about in the middle of the field. Guarded tightly by a bonfire check. Sutton Jones tracking. Nice grab there. That's Victoria Harvey with the grab. Harvey looks upfield. Goes to the backfield. Lund covered. Goes up line. Sends it into coverage. Nice defense there by Bonfire overall. Good tight coverage in the dump position there. One trying to get open. Couldn't quite make it happen. Jaden Jaden Lunn has been a steady defensive presence. She looks like she might be a little banged up in the play. I'm not sure if she's going to stay in. Looks like she probably will. There's a bit of a discussion. Can't tell if it's a foul on the throw or a stall down. It's a stall down. Sutton Jones taps it down. Keffer walks up to the disc. Bonfire, a few turns on their offensive possession, but, but definitely playing good D right afterwards. Keffer to the middle of the Sutton Jones. Sutton Jones looks upfield. Just behind Holly Hammer. That's been a sort of a theme. Hammer getting open all over the field, but her thrower is just throwing it just behind her. This is Reeve Chan now with the disc surveying. Hits Wu on this close sideline. Wu back to Wu Chen. Overthrew, but don't worry. The garbage collector, Angela Yu, collects it. Nicely done by Angela Wu. Spins one around to Lun. Lun bends a big forehand around. Connects for the goal. Wu Chen. Unbelievable play there. Lun sending an aerial shot. Big outside in for the goal. Toro with the goal and they extend the lead to 10-5, doubling up on Toro or on Bonfire right now. Another nice play. We, what we just witnessed was Jaden uh, Lun on this defensive unit bending a big forehand around to Reeve Chen for the goal. Lun, sort of the defensive stalwart, if you will, for her uh, on handling on offense and on the offensive side of the disc on their O-line. Brittany Dos Santos has been that sort of center cog, being able to handle. 10-5 the score, Toro over Bonfire. If you're just joining us now, Bonfire kept it close for the first, you know, slew of points, uh, even leading at a certain point, but, you know, ever since the sort of 6-5, 7-5, they've gone on a bit of a run, and uh, Toro is really taking it now, showing that they are deep in their players, and they're ready to battle for this Canadian Ultimate Championship couple down years for Toro, but they're back and their program is blossoming and they have some really great talent and they're showing it here in this game. Delaney Ignatiev attacks the pull. Flips to Oleana Chan. Back to Ignatiev. Swings to this side. On the close side, Safina Shijani with the disc. Ignatiev. Chan cuts her nice throw through right through the middle. Back to Ignatiev. Shows her patience there. Swings it back to the middle. Nice, nice bail cut. Looking upfield. Bonfire using the width really nicely here. Number 13, Jenny Ishenko with the disc now. 
Looking upfield, Juan Ignatiev bullies away up line, makes a nice cut, bumped a little on the mark. Jesse Sang with a bit of physical play there, Benjamin around, only on a Chan settling underneath it, Dos Santos, but Chan pulls it down over Dos Santos. A little bit of a misread, and Dos Santos looks like she might be cramping just a little bit after that play. She has been playing a lot of points. I wouldn't be surprised if she was a little bit dehydrated. Hopefully she's all right and gets back in the action soon. But there's a nice play, a little give-go. Uh, Ignatiev gets bumped from behind. No call, resets her body, throws a big bender over Dos Santos, and Chan gets up with two hands and reels it in. Nicely done. Bonfire now trails 10-6. to six. Dos Santos being helped off by some of her teammates. She's going to see one of the coaches and get a little help. She's still got a smile on her face. Might just be a cramp at this point. Certainly she's uh, bared a lot of the load today. She's played a lot of minutes, I imagine, in her other games as well. On the offensive side of the disc, she's been very strong, working the disc up. But a lot of points, a lot of wear and tear on the old body. So looks like she's just getting stretched out by a teammate. Hopefully it's just a cramp and she's back out on the field in no time. Bonfire is set to pull here. 10 to 6. Toro leads. Bonfire definitely not going away. with the disc now, it's Lund. With Dos Santos on the sideline, Lund going to be shouldering some offensive points here. In the center handler position, guarded tightly by Bonfire counterpart. Flip step line. Lou with the disc. Lou hits the under. Back around. Lou with the disc. Nice, good reaction cut there by Harvey. Harvey has it in the middle of the field now. Field. Nice cutting in. Great defensive pressure. She's been trying to get one all game and finally rewarded. Great D. And now they're off to the races. Bonfire looking to get that valuable break back. Striking the end zone. Call on the field. Looks like a pick. Sherry Lou. A little bit of a discussion here. Lou and Jordan Pierman. Unsure exactly what the call is. It looks like she called a pick. For those unfamiliar, was, she was following her check and blocked by someone who wasn't her check. And Colin Medill and Alan Baggish are getting involved here as observers to help sort this out quickly. Nonetheless, the disc is about to get tapped back in. Pierman with the disc. Right back into the middle. Craven. Craven to Keffer. Keffer bends a big outside in. Tries to connect with her downfield receiver. And is just off the mark. Nonetheless, Lund and her Toro team are going to have to go the whole 70 if they want to score this one. This is an offensive point for uh, Toro, remember? And they're without their superstar, Brittany Dos Santos, who went down with what looked like a leg cramp just a few minutes ago. Toro, just a little bit too far. Picked up right away. It's 18, it's Claire Kissinger with the disc right now. Kissinger, back to the middle to Keffer. Keffer, wants to go over the top, nice defense. Fires on that field. Bends a big outside in, tracking it down, just quite can't get there. Joe Craven chasing the disc down. And Lund rips back to grab it. Collects it, taps it in. They're going to have to go 70 again. This bonfire pressure is a lot to handle right now, and Toro isn't responding that well. Swing around, back to Lund. Lund with the disc. Lund to the outside, Harvey. Harvey goes back upfield to Lund, and good defensive pressure. That's number four, Alicia Brewery, run through D block, and they've got a short field, Keffler upfield. Bends one around, 
Can they connect? Not quite. Very close. This bonfire is run and gun style. Live and die by it. And right now they're, they're getting great defensive pressure. They're developing turnovers but just can't quite cash in on their D. And good call here by Jaden Lund. She calls a timeout. Emma Seaborn probably was hollering at her from the sideline. They've been playing solid defense, but this offensive possession for Toro is probably the uh, messiest of the day. Gives us a good chance here during this timeout to sh give a shout out thanks to our sponsors. Um, Edmonton Events, Alberta Sport Connection, City of Edmonton, of course, and then our... Uh, Field and game sponsors, uh, VC, Custom Ultimate Apparel, it's our official apparel partner for Ultimate Canada, Discraft, official disc uh, partner, Delta Edmonton South, the uh, hotel sponsor, who's housing tons of these athletes all week long, uh, standard scaffold and insulation, I'm going to shout out, extra shout out to them for putting me up in this sweet uh, booth up here, you know, 10 feet above the uh, showcase field 14. And of course, as soon as the adult division gets going, there's going to be a Big Rock Brewery-sponsored uh, beer garden over in the corner there by the showcase field. So without the sponsor's assistance, this event would be a lot more tricky to put on. And so we'd like to say thank you, of course, and helping out with this broadcast here. We have uh, SportsCanada.tv, our broadcast partner. You can find us online, UltimateCanada.tv, for stream services for the entire week and right now we're going to get back into the action Jaden Lunn on Toro has the disc, she called the timeout wise choice too, their team her team leads 10-6 to 6 and Bonfire has put on some exceptional pressure in this point they run a flood play, just a bit outside and can't quite hang on there's number 77, Catherine Quach foul called on the mark looks like there might be a little discussion Jaden Lunn called the foul Doesn't look like it's contested. Disc is going to come back in. Throw was a bit off the mark, it looked like. Good defensive pressure, all point long from Bonfire. This game started an hour ago. There's about 25 minutes left until hard cap. More good pressure. Craven. Nice hands. Lou with the disc. Lou surveying. Fires it to Lou. It's Michelle Lou with the disc now. Looking into the backfield, wants Lund. Lund being real steady back there. Shouldering a lot of the weight, especially since... Oh, and there's a nice defensive play. Right away, and then... Oh, this bonfire team. Such a quick transition. They've been trying to do it all game, but just sometimes with the quick transition, what happens is they just are a little too quick for their own good and end up throwing a turnover. Lou into the backfield. Sherry Lou. Back to Lunn. Lunn on the close sideline. Back to Sherry Lou. Nice upline cut. Lou looking up field. Bends one around. Lunn keeps it in. Nicely towed. Well done by Lunn. She's got the field now on the close sideline. Looking up field. Sherry Lou goes up blind. This time it's well defended. And then she fires one in. Connects with Michelle Lou. Michelle Lou back to Lunn. Back to Sherry Lou. And there it is, the one, two, three punch. Michelle and Sherry Wu with Lun quarterbacking there, and they just crush the open side all the way up line, up line, up line, under, and that is a goal. And that one is demoralizing because Bonfire had so many cracks at that downwind, at that upwind end zone, just to relinquish it and watch Lou, Lou, and Lun go all the way up. Well done by Toro, and sometimes it just that's just what it takes, is just a few players to make some special plays in order to cash in a goal. Toro now leads 11-6. 25 minutes left, 20 minutes left in this game now. And uh, with the score at 11-6, you know, barring a huge bonfire run, I think we'll get through all the points. Uh, it's an 85-minute hard cap. And we've seen it all this point. Uh, this game, we've seen some zone defense. We've seen some person-on-person -person coverage. We've seen some phenomenal hucks. Uh, we've seen some beautiful defensive pressure, uh, and that's why we're all here at the Canadian Ultimate Championship to see two undefeated teams duke it out on the Showcase Field 14 in this huge Pool D matchup. And this depends. You know, the the person who wins this pool will have a more favorable matchup in quarterfinals heading into the week or heading into the bracket play. 
this is a game you definitely want to win. Bonfire looks a little lackluster now in the second half as Toro's pressure was just a bit too much coming out of the first half into the second half. Brittany Dos Santos is back, healthy, looking good. She's sending the disc out. Nice pull, about to the brick mark upwind, and looks like a zone defense from Toro. Ice is Sutton Jones with the disc. Nice break for a shot into the middle. Chan with the disc. Back to Sutton Jones. Sutton Jones back to Chan. Little give go there. Right back to Sutton Jones. Sutton Jones to the middle. Shajani to Ignatiev on the far sideline. Ignatiev back to Shazani in the middle. A little bit low, just out of the reach of Sutton Jones. Beerus to pick up. She's got Dos Santos, Wentland. Wang out there. Wentland attacks the line, gets it right back. There's the up on cut. Poached by Shazani, can't quite get it. G with the disc. Flips it to Dos Santos for the goal, and she immediately makes her impact felt after subbing off with that injury. Comes right back. Couple nice throws. Wentland to G to Dos Santos for the goal. And that was a solid bonfire unit on that offensive line. Sutton Jones, Shazani, Oleana Chan, Delaney Ignatieff. And they were out there. Holly Hammer was there too. And these are the players that Bonfire wants to rely on to make those plays happen. And just a miscue on the throw. A little bit depleted in energy right now as Toro looks to be the stronger team. They take the lead 12-6 to now. Toro leads 12-6 in this Pool D Junior Women's Matchup, the Canadian Ultimate Championships, live from Edmonton, Alberta, here at the Ivor Dent Sports Park. Truly a beautiful facility, tons of amazing fields, all chalked off for this event. The organizing committee has done a phenomenal job setting this event up. And right now on Showcase Field number 14, we have Toro versus Bonfire. Bonfire putting up a pretty good fight in the first half, but unfortunately for them... Toro has put a lot of pressure on the second half and really ran away with this game. And miscues like that one has just sort of plagued Bonfire in the second half. And Beerus is set to pick up and see if they can make good. Quick up one cut. Hangs up. Nice grab. Kelly Smith with the disc right now on the doorstep. What can she do about it? Flips it for a goal. Number 24, Christina Wang. Nice acceleration. Attacks the line. Smith flips it to her for the goal. And that's just another sort of example of what's been happening in this game. Bonfire has had lots of great opportunities, haven't been able to capitalize, and Toro's come flying back and made it happen in two or three passes. And despite how close it was earlier on in the game, Toro has accelerated and taken a considerable lead, a stranglehold in this game. They now lead 13-6. Looks like Bonfire has called a timeout. We're going to take a quick break from the Canadian Ultimate Championships and be right back. We're back after a timeout. Bonfire dropping the last few points to Toro. 13-6 is now the score. 
and Toro is set to play a bit more defense. One thing I was just pondering in the timeout break there is that Toro relies pretty heavily on several players to make a lot of their plays. It looks like they might have thrown out a bit of uh, some of their bench now, but it begs the question that can these players shoulder the load for the entire event? Uh, we've seen that for a lot of juniors teams, they rely on two, three, maybe four players, but the teams that win these tournaments rely on seven, eight, nine, and their depth to make it happen. And right now, we've seen from Toro, their best players have been really, really using a lot. Brittany Dos Santos, shouldering a lot of the load. Jaden Lunn. Bonfire on offense. Flips it to Ignatiev. Ignatiev and Keffer have been a one-two punt back there in the Bonfire handling core. Very impressive work. Spins it out all the way around to Sutton Jones. Sutton Jones. Good defensive pressure by Toro. Ignatiev. Keffer. Ignatiev. Nice undercut. Oh, and Ignashi finds a hole. Nice, great throw up the middle. Finds a little pocket. Nice cut in two. Gets it right back. Goes up line to Holly Hammer. This time connects. And Hammer unleashes a forehand to the corner. What a throw and a great goal. Bonfire finding a little late life here. And a really, really nice point. Holly Hammer has been cutting really well all game in the lanes. Just sprinting up and down, up and down, finding space. Hasn't always been rewarded for her shot, for her space. But there it is, she attacked the line, got the disc, and delivered a beautiful outside-in shot for the goal. And Bonfire comes over that timeout and, and uh, fights back and throws a little punch of their own. They now trail 13-7. Is it going to be too little too late? There's only about 15 minutes left in this game. They're going to want to fire it up right now if they want to make it happen. After getting scored on, surprise, surprise, throws out their star-studded O-line. Beerus, Brittany Dos Santos, Smith. Among others. And again, they've been able to handle it this game today. Probably played a lot of points, uh, but it's the first day of a three-day competition, and as the Competition gets tougher into the bracket play. You know, I wonder sometimes if the Toro squad's going to be able to hang with Alpha, Mofo, and, uh, you know, other top level teams as, uh, as they really, really have, you know, put a lot of weight on just a few players. Another offside call. Looks like that's Bonfire's first warning. Delaney Ignatius set to pull again, facing a little bit of an upwind. Pretty much the same unit out there. Holly Hammer, Dylan Ignatiev, Kayla Keffer, Isis Sutton Jones, Erickson, Ignatiev this time on side. Fires a nice pull all the way to the brick mark. Collect in the middle, flip to the center. Wentland. Wentland with the disc. Flips to Dos Santos. Dos Santos. Back to Wentland. Nice zone defense here. Good pressure. Dos Santos busts through and gets it. Goes over the top of the scuba. Floats a little in the wind, but tracked down and easily grabbed there. Rebecca G. Oh, G breaks it wide open with a shot through the middle of the Sang. Sang back to Dos Santos. The zone still manages to set up. And Dos Santos bends it around, and that is an excellent throw and a huge layout, but just can't quite connect. And Bonfire using that zone and got a turnover. Ignatius picks up. Ignatius is doing a do all today for Bonfire. Breaks the force to hammer. Back to Ignatiev. Ignatiev looking upfield. Bends one around. Sutton Jones reels it in. Goes up line. Just a bit out of reach. Good defensive pressure there. That's Sang who collect the garbage there. White land. Has the disc. Oh, Dos Santos with a nice one and a half shimmy. Stays in line. Toes the line. No, she's called out. Alan Baggish called her out. Dos Santos appeared to try to toe the line, but I guess couldn't quite stay in. Alan Baggish, observer here on the close sideline, had an excellent view on the play. Called her out of bounds. Kayla Keffer's going to walk back to where it is. Just tapped in. Their bonfire is looking to attack. 
Ignatiev into the backfield. Nice cutting. Ignatiev goes all the way across to Holly Hammer. Really, really nice throw. Open the field wide up with that shot. Flips to the middle. Broly with the disc now. Alicia Broly serving. Uses Ignatiev in the backfield. Delaney Ignatiev. Every other bends a huge one all the way around. Good defensive pressure. It went up huge and got a bonfire on the doorstep now. Erickson with the disc. Erickson serving. Doesn't like what she sees. Flips to Keffer. Nice hands to hang on to that one. Keffer got the disc. Goes outside in into the corner. Really nice block by Sanger. Second of the point. Guarding Holly Hammer. That's a tough matchup there in the downfield. But Keffer floats that one just a bit too much. And Sang tracks it down and makes a one-handed stab. Now Toro on offense. We've seen a little bit of late life here from Bonfire. Able to generate turns and have shots at the end zone. Dos Santos is going to try to snuff that out as she's got the disc. Airs went out looking for... Oh, and she found her receiver, number 22, Kelly Smith. Puts an end to that mess. Unlucky there for Bonfire as they were putting some good pressure on and got the disc all the way to the goal line again. And that's the story of this game in a nutshell. Bonfire oh so close, but then can't quite capitalize. Toro marches it down. Dos Santos airs it out to Smith. And there is another goal. Toro leads 14-7, to doubling up on the girls from the North Shore. This is potential game point for Toro, heading into a wind. Slowly, Bonfire trucks out to the line. Chantal Broly, Oleana Chan, Safina Shazani. Corey, Kissinger. Sort of an energy depleted Bonfire here as they just watched their team come oh so close to knocking it in and Toro transitioning and scoring on the other side. Toro set to pull. Line out there. Defensive stalwart. Lou, Lou. Here comes the pull, number 18, Ru Chan. Ru Chan's had some nice goals today. Pull just shy of the brick mark. Oriana Chan picks up. Flips to Erickson. Surveying. That's Kissinger, rather. Tries to hit Chan, gets her in the hands with just a bit too much zip on it. And quickly, the transition offense that's been very strong runs out and gets it. Here's Chan with the disc. Chan looking to put an end to this game right here. Swings it to the middle. Good patience, Lou. Sherry Lou. Sherry Lou with the disc. Back to Reeve Chan. Attacks the line, doesn't get it. Reeve Chan looking upfield. No doubt she wants to end this now. Lund cutting up line into space. Lund climbs the ladder. That is a goal, and that ices the game. 15-7. Toro is your final score over Bonfire. Bonfire after two wins already today against Red River Rebellion and Wicked from Ontario. Just didn't quite have enough juice in the tank to take down Toro, the number one team out of Ontario. Strong, strong performances on the Toro side from... Jaden Lunn, Brittany Dos Santos, Kelly Smith, Emily Wentland, and Sherry and Michelle Wu working hard on the defensive side. Really, really solid performances from the Toro teammates. On the bonfire side, Delaney Ignatieff, along with Kayla Keffer, were very solid in the handling core. Holly Hammer, Erickson, Kissinger upfield, a lot of pressure. And some nice handling as well from Sutton Jones and Safina Shijani. As the players shake hands, this game ends 15-7. That concludes our coverage today from the Ultimate Canada Canadian Ultimate Championships in Edmonton, Alberta at the Ivor Dent Sports Park. We'll be back first thing in the morning to give you four games tomorrow, including some Junior Open and Junior Women's quarterfinal action tomorrow afternoon as the competition heats up here, here from Edmonton. I'm going to sign off. I'm Kevin Underhill with Ultimate Canada and SportsCanada.tv. Thanks a lot for joining us today. Make sure to tune back in first thing tomorrow, 8.30 a.m. Alberta time, to get things going for tomorrow's coverage. Thanks a lot.